Hello and welcome back to the Midwest Mainline. We are on board our big boy that we set up in the previous episode. In fact, it's almost like a continuation. Now, the eagle lied out there, would have spotted. I messed up the line a little bit when setting it up. Did all this hard work, got it all running, and, uh, and assigned the iron pickup to the coal mine and vice versa. Lovely. Well, fortunately, I, I fixed it. So <laughs> we can just continue and, and go and pick up the goods. I also found another issue with it, which was uh, that if you have it set to full and only want to pick up 50%, it, it won't do it. You have to do the other one where it's partial, partial load, full any. So there we go. Otherwise it sits there for an eternity and it will never leave. Good if you want to park something up though. Now, voting. Yes, Discord has chosen our five countries. That vote will be going up in today's episode and will be up until Friday. And then on Saturday, I'll give you an update and we'll close the... Uh... Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my days. No, I'm going to leave it longer because it's. I, I believe it's going to be the last vote. Yeah, yes, it is. It will be the last vote. After that, I'll have to get my uh, creative shoes out the cupboard and think of how I want to portray that. So there we go. We got our five countries. It is the UK, Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, and France. So uh, I've, I've thrown the thrown the graphic up on the screen so you can have a look how they uh, reacted to each one that doesn't necessarily mean it will be the order that you vote for the UK uh, may be strong my audience is uh, there's a lot from the UK however we've also found out there's a lot from the a lot of you from the US and Australia and from various places in Europe I believe Asia as well well, hello to everybody around the world. I, I, I don't know where everybody lived. I couldn't list them all off. That's a lot of countries. There we go. GT worldwide. Never thought I'd be saying that. So this is the rest of our line. We're going to go and pick up our iron ore. Oh, oh yeah. I should throw the, uh, <laughs> the graphic off the screen. There we go. So... Good luck on the voting. If, if you, uh, your favourite country doesn't get chosen, don't worry. For the time being, I'm going to try and keep our series quite short. I mean, this short is about as short as you're ever going to get in Transport Fever. It takes a long time to build a map, doesn't it? To actually play through a map. So they're, they're only short as in, or I'd say not far off. A mini series when you compare it to something like a recreation the Midlands it's not going to be a recreation however it's going to be on an actual height map I've, I've figured that much so whichever country and we choose it will have the actual satellite height map data and the cities we choose including the capital that's one of them it will be centered around the capital of whichever country is chosen and we'll we'll head from there. I've got I've got a lot of thinking to do on that, and we're we're about here. So that was good timing, wasn't it? It's a bit of a long intro, but I kind of threw in a. Uh, actually, it's not a long intro. It's about what they normally are. We kind of snuck in a, a cab ride there. We've got a lot to do today. It's not building, so if you're not a fan of building, today's for you. If you're into uh, taking a look at pretties and maybe doing a little bit, a little bit of beautification, then uh, that's what's going to happen today. We're here. We can get off. First off, we've got to check this line, and it's let's only see the line, and its rate. We're probably going to have to leave it running a little bit. There we go. How many did it? It should be yeah, 144. It has picked up half of its uh, capacity. I don't know what rate we're going to have to get this up to. Both of these mines produce 400. Now, we would need more than 400 rate, right? Because we're, we're actually serving two mines. Wouldn't we need 800? 
per station? Or would 400 per station do it? I don't know. It's We're definitely going to need another one on. So we're going to do that immediately. We're actually going to uh, duplicate these. E should we? Actually, yes. Just do it. Just do it. We can, we can deal with that afterwards, can't we? So there goes our train. I did notice something uh, when I was testing this out. And that is this. This here is not pretty, is it? We'll have to wait till our train heads off there into the distance. But there is a fix for this. It does involve deleting our bridge. So we're going to quickly pause it. It won't take long. What we can do is delete this and this section. Then we get any old track and just throw it in like that. And then we can rebuild this track. And if we put it back in, you'll see it's over this bit of track, which we don't care about. Except that delete this back now there you go the uh the legs sit better this one is not pleasant i don't know whether we could flatten that we can play this now uh we could try maybe no it will slope down i mean one thing we could do to avoid that it's not needed it's purely aesthetic there's there's no reason but we could do that oh but then it puts that foot back put that in delete that delete that better it looks like it's actually sat there now we've got a bit of uh, a bit of an issue here oh no we haven't because it goes down underneath it just looks like part of the bridge doesn't it it still looks better than what it was i mean at least it is connected underneath one thing i wanted to do was is how what gravels do we have there's one here there's a bridge up here that was noticed i noticed that in the intro of the previous episode there's a there's a, like a stray bit of grass now you can just get rid of that by painting over it there we go no more grass also it tends not to be grass or anything underneath these and put the strength up uh, is that working there we go in fact if we just go full strength we can get rid of all the grass yeah there tends not to be much grass does there under a bridge i mean there's probably a little bit but if you did want to make your maps look a little better, you can do that. And then it looks like the uh, the bridge is meant to be there. Look, it's been built. I like that. That's better. Do the same there. Like that. Up to there. And up to there. And what you can do then is take the strength down a little bit and get some more gravel of a different colour. Touch it up at the sides. Beautiful. Has that tidied that up a bit better? It looks like it was built there now. Not sure about these rocks. We'll leave them. Let's go check on uh, what our trains are doing. You'll see here, we're miles off from coping with this. But our line rate, hopefully, is a little better. We've got 372. I still think we're going to need more. What we possibly need to do is, is extend these trains even further. They might need to be bigger. I would rather have them longer trains and have more than the capacity of the two mines combined than I would to have even more traffic on our network. Uh, the longer we can keep these trains sat, the, the less we're paying maintenance for them, which is what I like. This I love, by the way. It will be interesting to see if they get snarled up, wouldn't it? I'm a little bit concerned about that. Oh, we could do something nice with this area. I'm getting carried away with the detailing. Just a little bit. This should be a little bit smoother. And in fact, I kind of want that to be gravel as well. So let's do that. Increase the brush size a bit. Is that the gravel? Yes, it is. We just go along like that. Better. And get the darker one as well. A little bit of a mixture. And what's that? More gravel. There we go, we can have all the gravel on there, can't we? It looks like it's supposed to be there. And then we could make the uh, brush smaller and give it a bit of an edge. With maybe sand, we have like... Oh, there's other gravel here. Is that sort of the track gravel? I don't know which one that is. Put the strength up. Ooh, that one's nice. It gives it like an outline. You want kind of that one though, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. The more dirt. What is it called? Dirt. It is called dirt. Well done. You can also get rid of this grass here in the middle of the tracks if you don't like it. 
Just leave a few strands. There we go. Leave it alone. But it does look like it's supposed to be there now. We're kind of lacking some trees around here, aren't we? Should we, uh, should we throw a few trees in? We want, it is assets, but you want those. And we'll go with those and we'll take out, we don't want any elderberries, Scots pines. We don't want any of those. Oak, yes. Sugar maple. Let's go with that. And um, we'll increase the brush size. Can we just put that in? What's the, oh, strength. I didn't know you could change the strength on these. That's kind of cool. All right, let's put those in there. Are they the right ones? I think they are. Just a bit more of a foresty area. We're going to run through that with our road. I like that. I am I am doing far too much scenery work. How are we doing on here? I still don't think we're going to keep up. I'll be surprised if we do. I think we're going to have to go bigger. A lot bigger which may mean reworking these stations. If that is the case, I'll do that up, uh, in between episodes, I think, and, and just extend the stations, because you'll know how to do that. Because it, it's going to mean moving these switches up here, whichever way, one either end, I guess. He's away. If we do do that, do do, then we can have a helper maybe on the back, a diesel pushing it. Let's go check on our cities because we got some new buses didn't we let's not check on Hibbin for buses because they don't have any just yet we might do that and we might add goodness me what's happened to Grand Rapids you are massive and we've we've got a bit of a snarl up here haven't we again they're not cutting it do we have any new trams for these I think they are the uh, the current ones Toronto PCC A7 do you have any better one? No, that is the latest, so we don't need to worry about that. How are you doing on age? You're good. That's lovely. We might need to increase the maintenance on that, because they'll be a bit loud. So should we add another bus line in here? Or a bus line, because we don't have one. I'd like to take some of the stress off this going through the center, because we have nothing going on for this area down here. And what does that area consist of? We have commerce, we have industry, we do want to run it to the station and we do want to kind of capture this bottom bit of the uh, residence there. I mean these, they go to, to about here and they do capture all that and they will capture all that. So it looks like running them up along this bit might be an idea for us. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're adding a new bus service. It's going to turn around up here somewhere. Let's put in a uh, an extra block for it to build around. We can do it from there to there. We'll get rid of them for now. And then we'll have our main connection. Extend this a touch. We'll have our main connection running there. It is a bit blocky, so we'll, we'll add a curve to it. There we go. We can even have one bringing up here. Buildings we want. Not those. That's, that's cargo. Where do we want to start? Somewhere in here. We want to get everywhere, if possible. We'll go that way. We could even head that way back, but uh, no. We'll go backwards and forward. This will be like our, our main section, and then it can split off. One heading that way, one heading that way. Like that. And then we can run off down there, pick some people up from around here. Unfortunately, our trucks run there. That's a little awkward. We could run it up here on the slower road, like on a back street or something. No, we'll, we'll put it in here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't think we've got any issues because our trucks are delivering. We'll leave that run like that. Oh, which way are you running? Our trams are running this way, aren't they? Yes. You kind of want to run the opposite way so we'll change that we'll go that way back round we'll just switch it round what do we got? planes planes we don't use yet you go in that way instead there we go better a little better at least because uh, I would prefer it to come through uh, the bus station the other side 
if possible. Be careful with your uh, bulldozer there. Let's add a few more bus stops then. So from here, we want to be heading back that way. That's right, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now we don't interfere with our trucks. I believe is that right. Yes, we ignore the trucks, which means we can stop here too. Which will be rather nice. There we go. Then we stop into there. And then we head off and stop there. Does that look good to you guys? It does to me. This should help Grand Rapids grow because it's a bit small. It's not, is it? It's massive. Let's get us a new line in, shall we? That's not how you do it. That's, that's to view them. Here's the funny thing about that moment. I was staring at the line manager correctly and clicked to the other one. Marvellous. Right. New line. Uh, we'll start here. It doesn't really matter where you start, does it? And then we'll go round to there. You're missing something there, aren't you? We're, we're missing another little stop out here. Because I really do want them to grow out here. Add one there. There we go. Let's get that line back up. And manage that. And so after one, we just want to quickly add that one. And that puts it in there. Not too sure about that. I might bring that back a touch. Right, delete that one. Add it back in. It should sort itself out. There we go. Did you work? I think you did. There we go. Beautiful. Continuing on to here. Then we're going to head off there. We do cross over, which is awkward. I don't think we're going to have any real issues. I sort of don't mind it doing that, do you? That works for me. You run through the back street. One there, one there, one there. I think we're done. There we go. It's sort of commerce, isn't it? I'm going to call it the commerce route. It should capture everything we need. Now, people may wonder why I do it like that. There is the efficient way to guarantee that you make money. However, I prefer this way, which is the convenience method, where you have to pay a little bit for it. It will get people over to your station faster and more of them, I would say, because they won't be waiting around at bus stops. I mean, you're still going to have to throw loads of vehicles on it, even if you have a direct route. But this way, it gives them uh, less steps out of their door to your bus stop. And they're they're kind of keen on that. Wouldn't you be, though? If you, if you had a bus stop right close to your house, you'd certainly be in, encouraged or tempted to go take it. So that's our line. This will be Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids Commerce. Just call it that. And we'll throw a few buses on there, probably about six. We've got a new buses, don't we? We have these, the GM Fishbowl. Uh, I have gone ahead and replaced a couple up there. In the previous episode, I edited a bunch out because the build went a little over schedule. And you missed me replacing the buses. However, we can uh, take a look at these ones instead. Colour them sky blue and put them on to Grand Rapids Commerce. There we go. Our, our horde of buses are going to come out of here. These do look fantastic. I love the indicators on them. I'm going to say we can follow him. He's lovely, isn't he? We'll get to see then. Will people be on board? Oh, this problem used to happen in Transport Fever. And I believe it's something to do with the masking. Or, uh, can you see the doors are missing? But they're not. That is the same masking issue for when you, you're sat in the cab. Ooh, where are you off to? You're indicating down there. Oh, lovely. Yes, it's the same masking issue when you're sat in cab rides and you look out the window. This is, this, that, that's what that is. It hides certain things. I hope they can fix that. I'm sh pretty sure it wouldn't affect. It's just transparency, isn't it? It shouldn't affect the game performance. Right, he's off uh, on a bit of a strange route at the moment until he gets to wherever he's heading. We are at absolute capacity with, as we go, as our train pulls up, this is perfect timing. With this oil run, we're running to capacity. The line is, is not going to get any more oil on it. 
this is it. This is what we've got to deal with. Yes, we could we could load up sandbox and throw that in. But I mean, I kind of just want to work with what we've got. The game has provided us. It's also a, an example of the mechanics of the game. You're already looking a bit worn, aren't you? I've, I'm sort of tempted to throw these as diesels now, to be honest, because this is the 9000, isn't it? It might be. It might be time to double head diesel. I know we are flooding the map with diesels. We'll let you run a bit longer. How old are you? 11 years. You've got plenty of life in you yet. One of these trains goes here, doesn't it? To Hibbing and drops off. It could be quite noisy. Actually, let's let's check, shall we? What is the state of emissions? And what is the layer? It's industry. Well, you can tell from the emissions because all your residents are over there. How did they do with their building? We've still got a couple of stray ones down here, uh, which is a little unfortunate. However, the only thing they're getting affected by is the tram service and the local traffic. You'll see that the local traffic is starting to kick in. Does that mean we're not providing enough coverage? Possibly. It could mean that we've just provided a better a better highway for them now yes this here this here it's kind of not connected to the real world is it i don't like that we could have the access road continue on that's not where you find it yeah what we could do then is is add the access road wrong one you want country roads the access road up to here is that straight i believe a section of this is fairly straight isn't it there we go Keep that bit straight as well. Flat, even. Then we can connect into here. It doesn't matter about... Ooh, does it matter about the sharp turn? I think it does. That's not the way round I wanted it to go. <laughs> dear, oh dear, stop clicking. Right, there we go. And we know we need to start heading up, so we will. And we'll slot it into there. Hopefully it's all pretty. Lovely. There's your access road to the still works. Should there be people actually working there but there is not so well we can pretend right we can pretend i kind of like the idea of it being uh steep one side and, and gradual the other there we go lovely now a few of you have been asking for more cab rides i'm probably going to put a video together shortly i should finish this shouldn't i yeah i'm i'm probably going to put a video together shortly where it's just, it's just the cab rides should we fix this bridge instead of me just keep saying that i'm gonna fix that at some point because it's it's a bit ugly isn't it as far as bridges go i don't like that and i don't know why you've got like a back road going there that should be a that should be a motorway shouldn't it or a highway on a motorway uh this one yes like that get rid of all those don't build on my highway. I mean, you can if you want. Will that connect in? It's, I mean, we're, we're pretty much saying no boats via that anyway. It's, it's kind of nice, isn't it? I've seen these bridges before and I do like them when they're that low. You're in. Isn't that better? That's much nicer. Yes. Oh, look, we've got the, the issue there with the stray grass that we can tidy up as we've seen it. Just use a bit of gravel. We'll go over there. There we go. In fact, take the gravel down. To there. I like it. We're in. We're in, guys. That makes it look much nicer. Now, do we own these roads? Let's go up to the... You can play it now. They'll, they'll be happy. Do we own these roads? Because I would like them not to touch those. Yes, we do. Can we keep that one as well? I think we'll be all right there. We can have traffic lights if we want. I believe we've just improved the traffic flow a touch as well by adding the extra bus service. Uh, it was a little bit busy. There's a lot of pink Cadillacs. That's nice. I like this little hill. It actually works there. Our trams are doing their job. Look at how many people are on the trams. They love those, don't they? Excellent. Oh, 
it's already starting to uh, filter down there. We, we still have a few, or a lot, or maybe many. How many people are waiting here? 62, getting rather cheesed off with our uh, inefficient tram service. It's not, it's not the tram's fault. We could throw another one on. I, I think it's not really needed. Should we check the line stats? How are we doing? It is making us money. It takes 266 people annually to the uh, station. I'm going to guess what that is. We could find out, couldn't we? If we click on this, this and go to finances, uh, not finances, charts. How many are you taking a year? It's actually taking 642 people a year to our train station. That's a lot of people going through this station. And how many people go through our station here? 321, how's that work? Oh no, that wouldn't be direct to the station, would it? It's also taking them within the city as as a intra-city network. So this station is dealing with 393 passengers a year. Would that have anything to do with the frequency of the line? I'm not sure. It could do. You want this one, don't you? 270 plus 100. There we go. <laughs> the numbers add up. So are there more people that are willing to travel by train? Because we're not offering them, are we? We're not offering them. Indeed, 95 people. You're packed. What are you waiting for? Oh, we have a snarl up. Or do we? We could probably extend that then and get that commuter off the, uh, off the main line because he was holding him up unnecessarily there. Beautiful. Well, there's an example for that. If we go something like there instead, he would have been out the way. We can just go 55. That'll be enough. Yes. You, you're getting a new a new bypass. You don't have to deal with that commuter any longer. Which will make this junction a little prettier, I believe. There we go. Get you in like that and we should be good. No, get you from there. Like that. Yeah, you're not liking any of what I'm doing, are you? Which means we'll have that signal there. I don't mind the little wiggle. It's it's a passenger train. We could rebuild that, but it's it's a little bit uh, excessive. One way, yes. You're going in there. You're a bit close to the junction for my liking, but are you? No, you're not. Miles away, isn't it? Not even close. You can actually have a signal there couldn't we no i'll tell you why we're going to go back over this way we'll see how that does it might increase the, the rate slightly that we're getting the commuter out the way of the uh, passenger train our express passenger train signaling on this junction as you can see this train here our new coal trains they they go on this in or outside line inside outside outside line and then run through here. However, once they pass this signal, there's nothing stopping them here. I'm, I'm tempted to have a short signal up here. Yes, they'll have their back end hung over this, this junction block. Oh, no. I decided against that, didn't I? It's not a good idea. Because then you're blocking, you're blocking trains running uh, our, our logging service. Leave it as is. I think what we'd rather do is move this signal and this one to either side of the junction. Because these are long trains, so I'd like them. One here, which would make a little bit more sense to me. And then one there, which doesn't actually make the most amount of sense. Does it make sense? Yes, because we do have multiple trains going down there now, so it could edge up a little bit. This one and this one can go. Finally tidying this up. I keep looking at these. I'm always tempted to like tidy them up for an episode. There we go. That's, that's working. How's the blocking down there? It's all right. This could be a little bit closer, ideally. I think that'll do us. That'll do us, guys. That might uh, improve the flow a little bit through there. And then we've got a triangle of signals here. I like it. I like it. It should flow a little better. 
It was already running okay, but now it'll just be a little bit smoother. See, what we'll do here, this signal is protecting all of this mess up there. Uh, the other signal you see in there is the passenger line. So if we do have to sit here and wait for a passenger line to uh, to cross that junction, it won't interfere with our logging and they can enter the bridge and continue on the way, which is lovely. They're on the move, aren't they? They're on the move. All right, let's take a look at Minneapolis with their new buses. We've got, let's go downtown, down, downtown, down, down to downtown. Go down to downtown. Uh, we could look at the trucks coming through as well. Have we upgraded those? Not in a while. They're looking a bit beat up, aren't they? We don't need any new trucks. Do we? I don't think there's any we can replace with just yet. Cargo. Uh, they are the best at the moment. Studebaker. Studebaker. However you wish to pronounce that. Because I don't know. But our buses, yeah, we could do with uh, a possibly an extra one on the... This looks fantastic down here. On the in industry line. Industrial line. Just to get them away from the station a little bit quicker. Even if we won't be making as much money. Because there are too many. This is lovely coming around here. Alright, let's have a look at uh, the line. It's making us money, so... Like I said, I don't mind losing money on these as long as they're getting people shifted and picking up people from as close to the house as possible so they're more encouraged to travel by a, via our public transport. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's manage the vehicles on here. We're going to add one more. So duplicate that. Oh, where did that go? Where did you pop in? Pop out of? I'm not impressed. I'm going to say I'm impressed. I take it back. Good on you. You came out the proper bus depot. Well, it's road depot, isn't it? Oh, yes. I remember these bus, uh, toy buses I had of this. This exact model. I love them. Right, away he goes. I think that's, that's going to help. How is the frequency of our, our bus? It, our buses, our trains. Okay, it looks like you see two people here. I think they're in hundreds. They round down, so that's the equivalent of less than 200, at least 200. No, at most 200 people. As we can see, we've got uh, 100 and what's that? 50, 60, 64, 164 people there, but not overcrowded, not even close. It's There's two lines dealing with that. All right, guys, so we've checked up on all of our lines. We're possibly going to need a third train on here and just make us bags. Of our money has gone through. We're nearly at half a billion. That is ridiculous. This new route must be making us a fortune. Wouldn't surprise me. We're nowhere near capacity on it either. Uh, bringing this into play, what do you reckon in the next episode? If we bring in uh, the, the machines factory... That'll be Bloomington's first uh, goods income or cargo delivery. Where are you situated? It's machines and tools. I don't know which is which there. Let's find out. Uh, which is which? Machines or tools? I don't know. Should we click on it? No. I thought that layer showed you. It would be that one. Okay. We could deliver that by train if we can continue past here, couldn't we? we could, because there's going to be a junction up to the plastics factory there. If we continue one line past on the outside, I mean the residents, I like the way we've got it all the way over here and that they're using it. The residents are all down here. If we look at the emissions, it's kind of a waterfront thing. It's a bit noisy because of our buses. Uh, they might be old. What buses do we have? No, that we replaced them, didn't we? Recently, with the uh, one before the the, go the goldfish, is that what they're called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
It's a goldfish bus. What are they called? It is a goldfish, isn't it? Goldfish bowl? Something bowl. Oh dear. You had one of these as a kid. And you can't remember. Details. What are you? Fish bowl. <laughs> Not quite a goldfish bowl. I mean, it could be, right? It could be for a goldfish. It's any old fish bowl. There we go. I am I am happy with that. These seem to be doing the job, don't they? They're not quite keeping up, but... Oh, they must be keeping up now. I'll tell you why. Because this isn't maxed out. Probably because it's accelerating faster. What is your rate? Let's find out. You are doing 466, but you have to divide that by 2 because it's only carrying half. You're actually carrying 233, which would... 233? Is that okay? Probably. 233, that's, that's actually really decent. Wow, that upgrading train is impressive. Oh yes, it was replacing some really old limited to 50 miles an hour wasn't it absolutely we were almost up to maximum on there i like it guys i like the way the our little our little minnesota is is progressing how are you doing you are almost maxed on your fuel that's nice to see and bread food <laughs> it's not just bread we need to increase that further I haven't been keeping an eye on it, really. Yeah, you're not. You're not keeping up. We need another, yet another new truck. Well, that's perfect though, because we we weren't supplying it enough before. Manage vehicles. Let's throw another one on there. I mean, you can double check, right? You could. We could do it the uh, the math math way, mathematical way, using the data we've got available. Uh, the rate is 189, and if we go to the is it the city view that will show us i believe it will if we go to the city view they actually want 198 so yes we're close we're close and you produce 300 there we go so technically we could go up to 300 do we risk uh playing the depot lottery why not it's a bit of fun that's what we'll call it we'll add another one on yeah, no, I, I, I lost the lottery. Never mind. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Oh, they always come out of here. Why is that? That's a little bizarre, isn't it? They always come out of this one. I don't know what that's all about. That's a little bizarre. There must be a reason. There must be some way it, it figures that out. It's wrong whatever way it's doing but anyway we're going to delete that i'll put one on from over here i want you uh delivering food immediately please all right let's uh let's fix you by it's a no it's one of these isn't it one of these i believe is that what we're going for i don't know they're expensive aren't they Two hundred ninety thousand for these trucks uh, you get on there, colour you food colour, whatever we've got that as, I believe it's that. And you can get on to the Ibbing food delivery. There we go. It is those, isn't it? Absolutely. I think they're the same as those. Yes, they are. All right, guys. We're, we've increased. It. Today was a little bit about beautification. And checking on our line rates. You see, we've still got a problem here. Goodness me, you're not keeping up. Quick, before we leave, get another one on there. More the merrier. I mean, one thing we could do, that was that was a bad choice. I'll tell you why. Uh, we could have, we've, we don't have any bus service. We could have had a bus run down this side of Hibbing. Let's do that in the next episode then. Let's also hook up this. This is going to help us. We can take machines to Bloomington, which in turn is going to get us more people on our network where should we sit today guys where should we sit we've got a very this this here is a very busy uh junction okay i thought there were going to be literally no trains i would like to sit up here though because we're going to get to see everything 
and see if our new new plan is working which is sending our commuter line off earlier i kind of like that idea can we sit about there so we can see the signal there we go beautiful there's not much going on is there it's very quiet which is kind of nice because it means we're not getting bogged down all right let's hide the ui that has been episode 20 we've increased the throughput of uh, several of our lines now our next goal is to to deliver machines wasn't it machines to the industrial area of hib no not hibbing bloomington uh hibbing's getting more food now which is nice we've slightly improved the junction work here our commuter train should not hold up our express passenger as often it's still going to cross the line but uh, it will get off the line sooner see this signal that we're star currently staring at will clear not when it gets past the next signal but when it leaves the, uh, the switch there and it will instantly free up the track as, as that block closes behind it but that's how that works so you don't need like a signal clearing on uh, I'll show you quickly <laughs> you don't need a signal here and here because as soon as this train back end leaves this switch uh, it will free up the passenger service Ex actually example before we leave as soon as he leaves the switch it will let him go there he goes he's clear of the switch and you can see him crawling forward that's how that works. That's why you don't need signals uh, like machine key where you, you put them to close the block off at the switch. So that's how it works in uh, Transport Fever 2. So if you've stayed till the end, you've got a little tip there if you didn't know. All right, guys. Goodness me, it's a long one. Recording wise, I'll, I edit them down. I like seeing all the trains in the background. This is brilliant. So lots to do when we come back. And until then. Take care.